Hi everyone, welcome to our video tutorial on how to look for books on our online catalog. There are two ways to get to our catalog. Uh, one is by going to the Tuckahoe Public Library website, which is tuckahoe.com forward slash library. And you'll see in the top right corner, we have a search bar for looking for books, movies, CDs, anything you can think of in our catalog. So you can start searching from here with the title, or if you don't know a particular title, I'm going to show you a way to search by subject or by phrase that might help you find the book that you're looking for. Now, if you don't have a book title in mind, you can continue in two ways. You can either hit search, which will bring you to this page on our catalog where you can then do a more advanced search, or you can search by a keyword as opposed to a title, or you can go to the Westchester Library System website, which is westchesterlibraries.org. And again, they have in the top right corner a search bar for their catalog, or you can go to this tab that says account slash catalog and click on that, which will bring you to the catalog homepage which gives you a few more options where you can do an advanced search, um, where you can change by keyword, title, journal title, author, subject, series, and digital book plate. Or you can even choose to search through specifically Overdrive, Hoopla, Freeding, and Freegal Music. Now, if you don't have a particular book title in mind, you can think of a subject and uh, type it in under keyword. So I'm going to look up fire truck for an example. Now I want to use leave it as a keyword. I let's say I want a DVD on it and I want to look in the entire Westchester library system. Uh, that way I know I'm getting every result possible for a fire truck DVD. Uh, if you want to, you can change it to your individual library. Um, catalog, but I suggest leaving it on the Westchester Library System because not all libraries have the same materials and you can always borrow from them. So you hit search and up comes a bunch of DVDs about fire trucks. Sometimes they're not necessarily what you were looking for. As you can see, the first one does have fire trucks in the DVDs section. Um, this one is a sing-along which could in fact mention fire trucks um, so it's not always a hole-in-one when you're looking for something that's why you always change the search parameters so maybe you didn't want a DVD and you just want to look at all formats this time again we're gonna leave it in Westchester library system so that way we get all possible searches as opposed to just what's available at your library Now you can see we get a whole bunch more options. We have the first book coming up is a children's nonfiction book about fire trucks. And then we see again this uh, DVD that we saw in our previous search. And now we have a lot more options to look at. And we can narrow down the search more. Uh, if you want specifically children's songs, we can narrow it down that way. Uh, if we want specifically Christmas related fire trucks, narrow it down that way. And then we can also narrow it down by genre, which could be children's films, audiobooks on CD, board books, television series, children's songs. And then we can also narrow it down by series title. But it's all up to you what you want to do. Now if you have a particular book in mind, you can always search for that as well. Again, you can leave it in keyword when you're looking up a book title. Let's say I want to look up where the crawdads sing a popular book from a couple of years ago. If I leave it in keywords, it will still search for the book. As you can see here, we have multiple versions of this one book. We can get the deluxe edition, the audiobook, CD audiobook. A regular book, large print, um, the play away in Spanish, and then others that are 
related in some way, but not the particular title we're looking for. Now, if we only want to find the titles, you switch it to title and you hit search again. And this time it will only bring up the titles of the books. One good thing about keeping it as keyword is maybe you didn't search the uh, correct uh, title, you might have misspelled it or wrote the title slightly wrong, the catalog will still uh, bring up books that are related to what you said, what you wanted, and then you might, and then you'll find what you're looking for. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful in uh, making it simpler and less daunting to use our online catalog. If you still don't feel comfortable, please feel free to call us at the um, Tuckahoe Public Library. We'll be more than happy to help you search for a book. Uh, and have a great day.